Hello Hunters, in this video we'll be talking about the skill Attack Boost in Monster Hunter World. In this video what you'll be expecting to see is basically how does Attack Boost work and is Attack Boost good and is it worth it. This kind of discussion is a little complex so I'll be linking in the description a text guide for with more information for you. So, how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. From the tooltip it reads, it gives you plus 3 attack for every level invested up to level 7 and a flat gain of 5% affinity at level 4. Now, you might think that's kind of bad, but every weapon has its own intrinsic modifier to what attack gains mean. So, this kind of means like plus 3 true damage almost. I'll show you an example of how it varies per weapon. So here we are with a switch axe, and if we add attack boost 1, which comes from Fairwind Charm, we gain 11 attack rating. Okay, and I'll be switching to, uh, let's say, this dual blades. Again, if we put attack boost, look at the effects, you gained 4. Definitely different from 11. Let's do one more example. Uh, hammer. There you go. Applying the same attack boost, we got 16. So as you can see, it's different per weapon. But what does that even mean? I mean, yeah, sure, the attack value goes up per weapon. But w what is the true meaning of that? We have to do some tests so that you can see exactly how good attack boost is. Here is the same hammer, testing out triangle, we're getting an average of uh, 28. So I'll be doing the basic combo now. I'll be listing down these values. And now we add one level of attack boost. And doing the same things. We now got 29, which is an increase of 1. And we're getting an increase of 1 on that too. So I did a bunch of other tests, and the average gain was around 1. Um, there were some attacks and weapon combinations that yielded zero gain for a single attack boost, but that's due to rounding error. And some of the larger attack uh, movement values gained two. But yeah, for the most part, you could put it at one. From 30 to 31 damage, if the average of your moves is 30 and you gained one, that's 3.33% increase, which is actually pretty huge. But from 50 to 51, that increase deflates to 2%. That's still quite strong for a single skill. 2% increase is great. But with this trend, you start to see the problem. If you're juiced up with uh, mega demon drugs, you're sniffing that demon powder, and you're popping the might seeds, uh, an average damage of 100 isn't unrealistic and increasing that by 1 really dilutes every point of attack boost to what? 1% or even less. So, is attack boost good? Well, the short answer is yes. Uh, most builds benefit from it. I mean, no matter how little, it, it it's very easy to see that most builds will definitely benefit from it and it serves as a baseline skill to compare all other offensive skills. Why? First of all, there are seven ranks and it comes as a small decoration slot. So you can easily find space to add more points of attack boost and you'll be often asking yourself, is attack boost worth it versus other skills? And we'll be talking about that in the next section. But yes, uh, generally speaking, attack boost is definitely decent. So let me talk a little bit more about uh, attack boost. So basically, it's a strong filler, but you gotta test it out first if it's the best for your build. 
It's highly likely that improving your sharpness might be the better option, or are there other like mobility skills that will end up giving you more DPS uptime? It's a low priority. I mean, I don't start a build and say, hey, I want attack boost 7 as my centerpiece. No, I mean, there are better skills out there like maybe weakness exploit, uh, agitator, maximum might, or maybe you're building around Valhazak set bonus or something like that. Attack boost 4 is great since you get the 5% affinity and it's, you know, it, if you're getting a few points of it, you might as well try to reach 4. Points 5 to 7, I mean, again, pure flat attack, you're gonna have to test it out how good it is with your setup. I prefer key defensives over it. I mean, if I had 3 open small decoration slots and let's say I was fighting Valhazak, I would take three miasma resistance jewels instead of three attack boosts i mean the small increase of my clear time it, it doesn't outweigh the safety that i gain and lastly it's worse with high attack setups i mean if you have a non-elemental build and you're using the jewel uh, you will i mean attack boost will barely change your dps i mean it's gonna be in the worst case scenario of 1% or less. I mean, given all of that though, I mean, it's still a case to case basis. Attack boost, like I said earlier, is the baseline that all other offensive skills are measured by. So, yeah, it's always worth it to, you know, in the end, I mean, take my advice, but nothing beats uh, cold, hard real world testing so head over to the training area go and fight some elder dragons and compare how adding attack boost works versus you know other skills you know in the end nothing beats testing man i mean just try it out for yourself attack boost may be good for your build it may you know, not be the best but then you gotta find it out for yourself take my advice take what you learned here today and you know, maybe it can help you make a more informed decision. But yeah, it's a complicated topic, so I really suggest that you read everything that I, you know, have to say about it. It's hard in a video format, so I have a updated text guide linked in the description below. Well, that's about it for Attack Boost and Monster Hunter World. Again, visit us in the mother in the home base, teambrg.com. Thanks and happy hunting, guys.